Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Rio. And we're here with Cycle Frontier Season 2. We're talking about one of the new additions they added. Not one of the new additions, but one of the changes that they actually made in the Season 2. Um, if you remember from last season, if you played last season, you'll remember that the uh, Restoration and the Tactical Shields were useless. You really wouldn't want to use them over the normal shields because they had less armor. And in PvP fights, if you're taking PvP, you want to have that extra armor. They just really weren't any good. So they... They saw that and they wanted to change it. So they changed it and made the restoration and the tactical both had the same armor as the normal armors. So now the normal armors is actually the worst armors you can run. Uh, the restoration, they actually tell you what they do now. So that for the green, it adds 0.2 health for the chest and 0.1 health for the helmet. You get a total of 0.3 health regeneration per second, which really doesn't seem like a lot. And I don't think it really is going to be a lot. I think the tactical would be better because you gain 15 stamina plus 25 stamina for the chest which is a total of 40 stamina, which I think is pretty good. And it's definitely a lot more if you're either A, chasing somebody down that doesn't have st more stamina, you're going to be able to catch them, or B, you're running away from someone who doesn't have it, you're going to have a lot easier time running away using these uh, the tacticals. And for the blue, the restoration actually seems pretty decent. It's actually half 0.5 health per second if you add both of them, which 0.5 health doesn't seem like a terrible idea terrible thing i'm gonna have to try it myself to see if it's actually useful i can't i don't really know i haven't used it yet i am gonna craft them and use them um the tactical shield adds 30 plus 20 which is actually a total of 50 stamina so it's 10 more than the green i think this is gonna be the go-to for most people uh i don't know maybe mixing them like the attack and the restoration helmet together i don't know i think the attacks together are gonna be the best but you can mix and match you know, based on what you like. Comment down below in the comment section what you think would be the best combination, whether just running both tactical or both restoration or mixing it up would be the best. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. There's still no tactical restoration. It's just normal for purple and exotic. I do believe there is a golden armor in the game now. I believe I saw that. The golden armor is only obtainable, I believe, in the forge, which is on the newest map. You can forge it. I don't know how it all works yet, but I have seen that there is a gold armor in the game which is pretty crazy. Also, before I go, there's a couple other things they added to the printing station. They actually added new crafts. So now you can actually craft Cloudy Veltasite from Law Veltasite, and you can also craft Clear Veltasite from Cloudy Veltasite, um, which is new. You can also craft Titan Ore, uh, Pure Focus Crystals, and Pure Veltasite, which these are all new crafts. And I think that's gonna be, it's gonna help a lot. It's gonna be a lot less just going out and farming, 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 just to get a purple you know, or all the blues you need. Now you can just farm, and every one you find actually has a use. You can just craft at the next tier of it if you have five of that, which I think is a really good addition to this game. One other thing that they did change, which is just a small change, but it's another thing about Veltasite. Uh, the Veltasite hearts now weigh 10 pounds, so if you find them, you can no longer put them in your butt unless you have a 10-pound butt uh, in your safe pockets. And you don't get that probably for a little while. Uh... Actually, I found this on a guy I happened to kill. I killed him, and I was like, why didn't he have that in his in his safe pockets? And I realized it was tin weight. So now, Veltasite hearts are going to be a lot more, you know, valuable to find. And you're going to be finding them probably on more occasions, because now people can't just stick them in the safe pockets and just get out with them, no matter what. You're going to be finding these on people to kill, so it's going to be a lot more, like, valuable to kill people and find these on them, which I think is a good change. Now that you can't just stick it in your butt, it also adds a little bit more of a... Fear factor if you find one of these, which I, I I personally like. I got really lucky and found this on someone, so I don't have to worry about getting it later on. You do need a couple more, I think, for the missions, but I'm happy to have found this one already. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video today. It's just a short little video introducing these few new changes that have come to the game. I'm going to be making more videos. I'm making some PvP videos, and I'm going to test the tactical and restoration armors in another video once I craft them, so we can actually see how much farther the stamina takes you as well as how fast that health regen actually is thank you guys for watching i hope this helped stay tuned for more and i'll catch you in the next one peace out